These ripple marks are the remains of the western shoreline of an ancient inland seaway. This seaway once covered much of the central United States during the Cretaceous geologic period. These shoreline vestiges can now be easily seen here at Dinosaur Ridge which is located just west of Denver, Colorado. Here's an example of the shallow ripple marks made by the waters of the inland sea uh, during the Cretaceous period. Evidence of shoreline vegetation can also be seen. This is the imprint of a plant from the mangrove swamp. All this the side of this hill is loaded with these imprints of those plants. Here's one of the prints of the mangrove plant. From dinosaur trackways like this one at Dinosaur Ridge, it has been possible to trace dinosaur tracks from Boulder, Colorado, southward as far as New Mexico. This indicates that dinosaurs traveled along several hundred miles of ancient coastline. The larger tracks belong to Cretaceous plant-eating dinosaurs. The thinner three-toed tracks belong to carnivorous theropods of the same period. The main dinosaur ridge track site shows 335 tracks that include at least 37 different animals. Dinosaur footprints can also be seen outside of the main track site. This is a print of an iguanodon. You can see the size of it compared to my hand. You can also see its depth. Here you can see the bottom outline of the print. Dinosaur Ridge provides guided tours for school groups. Here the guide is discussing the significance of the tracks at the main track site. Unfortunately, Dinosaur Ridge is located just a few feet away from a heavily traveled highway. The guide is discussing the two main types of Cretaceous dinosaurs that made most of the tracks on the Cretaceous, or east side of Dinosaur Ridge. The large prints were probably made by a plant-eating dinosaur called an iguanodon. The thinner prints were probably made by an ostrich-like theropod. On our way to the Jurassic, or western side of Dinosaur Ridge, we pass the ripple marks and the main trackway site. From the top of the hill, the road descends into the Jurassic part of Dinosaur Ridge. The dark layer in the center is volcanic ash. Sometime during the Jurassic period, there was a huge volcanic explosion. So we see this layer of volcanic ash. As one drives through the cut, 
one can see the Jurassic Morrison Formation. This area is on the west side of Dinosaur Ridge. Seropod bones and footprints can be seen here. This is an example of the Jurassic Rock Formations from the Morrison Formation. It contains bones of the Camarasaurus and you can tell the difference between the bones because they're a reddish color and they're harder than the surrounding stone. And the bones are, you have to, you can look for them and see them very distinctly all along this lay, these layers here. This is the part of the stone that broke off from the other part uh, up the hill there. This shows the bone of the Camarasaurus, the, the uh, pelvic bone and the rib bone. It's an excellent example to show the difference between the bone and the sandstone. And this is hard and smooth uh, and like iron. And uh, so it doesn't have any gritty feel to it at all. And of course the rib up here is very distinct uh, in within the sandstone. In this part of the Morrison Formation, one can see probable brontosaurus footprints. The footprints are in cross-section, that is, they are viewed from the side rather than from the top. <laughs> 